Okay, it's Casey Calando from All Energies. Haven't posted a video in a while. I'm going to try to do more short videos more often just to get the ball rolling again. <clears throat> On the workbench today, I've got two Magnum Energy inverters. I've got a 24 volt model. It's the MS4024PAE. And it's the split phase version, so it does 120 and 240. Over here, I've got a MS4048 single phase. I had a customer about a year ago end up purchasing one of these, even though they needed the split phase version, as the split phase version was on back order for about a year. And, you know, chip shortage stuff, yada yada. But, uh, so they still need the 240 volt option. Luckily, I have the parts to make it a, a 240 volt inverter. Uh, that's what's great about these. They're really modular. They they took um, kind of like a page out of Outback's playbook. They have the same base case, and a lot of the same components are shared across the line, depending on which model you have. I've been kind of... Uh, looking at the part numbers and seeing which components are shared. So I'm able to take the AC board and the AC filter board, and I guess this would be called the relay board, from uh, this older unit and move it over to the newer 48 volt model. Uh, pretty handy. Um, yeah, these have been really good inverters, these uh, Magnum Energy inverters. I've had one failure and it's actually this guy uh, with a lightning strike. Uh, it blew out a, a uh, filter cap on the AC board. I'm trying to locate that old cap. It had a hole right in it blowing outward to the case. Uh, the owner decided to replace the unit versus repair. So I ended up with it on trade. So I'm able to utilize the uh, AC components. I swapped out the filter cap uh, for a new one. So I got that board fixed. Um, pretty handy stuff. Let's see. So really reliable. I've got a couple dozens of these inverters in West Texas operating without a problem. Uh, I use the... MS4448 in my shop, and I've been running a 240 volt MIG welder for years. Um, hasn't skipped a beat. I'm very often the MIG welder is operating at about 5,000, 5,500 watts, and so I'm regularly overloading the inverter, and it's just been taking it for about eight years. That's pretty impressive. Can't say much, enough about these units. The only thing I will say is the customer service. Eh, it's mixed. Um, I've been a uh, technician uh, for years, you know, self-taught. And the process for being able to repair their inverters is kind of tricky versus with Outback. Outback will just send me a board and they, they've been working with my company and they're familiar with all energies. And they'll send me the parts to fix it. With Magnum Energy, they want to... They have you send it in uh, for sure, which definitely slows things down quite a bit. If you don't care about the warranty or you're out of warranty, I just service it myself. And I mean, that's how these were designed. They've they've got more boards than any, more separate boards than any other inverter I've seen. So you got the filter board, the AC board, the control board, the FET board, all modular, saving e waste. And of course, if you're really adventurous, you can repair these boards, but this is uh, out of my capabilities, personally. It's also conformal coated with some kind of a, a anti-corrosion inhibitor, so it makes it a little, even more difficult. But this is a control board, a couple hundred bucks. And another good thing is the terminals on these, really solid. I think this is the older design terminals, which is a little bit beefier, but even the newer ones are quite good. Kind of a funny little joke they put on these uh, split phase units. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yep, 
That's right, the most versatile inverter in the world. And it's a little silly joke referring to the uh, the handgun, the 44 Magnum. But um, yeah, it's 4,400 watts. Good equipment. Can't beat it. Um, yeah, this is the kind of stuff y'all should be buying for off-grid. I have recently had some experiences with the offshore stuff for the past year because everyone's saying that I'm a inverter snob. But yeah, that stuff does work sometimes. And I guess the 6548 uh, or the LV6548 or from MPP is a pretty good unit, the Voltronics inverter. But that's about the only good one they have. They're all budget inverters that are decent for, you know, cabins or people that aren't looking for long term. So this inverter... 10 years plus, 10 to 20 years, no problem. Same, just like with the um, Outback. The newer stuff, I'm generally seeing it fail at about the five-year mark. Uh, the, the budget stuff, I mean, you're paying one quarter of the price, so it's up to you. If you're looking to save money, I suggest having two of them. Uh, two of the uh, offshore brand inverters would be the way to go, in my opinion. Especially if you're looking to survive any kind of like a end of world scenario or something that people are always proposing to me. Um, so yeah, some of my opinions and I hope to post more videos about the insides and the workings of these inverters uh, soon. Thanks for watching.